Greetings, flower lovers. This is Esther, and you've reached the Flower Channel. Thanks so much for joining me today to soothe your soul and warm your heart with the beauty and healing magic of flowers. Okay, so this looks like you know, a really uh, messy area of the yard. But these are Lunaria plants. And we're going to take these, uh, what looks like weeds, and looks like some pretty skanky looking weeds, right? You know, okay, what is this going to be? We're going to cut a couple of them. And again, right, it just looks like trash. It looks like something you throw out. Not from a garden, from a garden out of this trash, I'm gonna make something really miraculous. Uh, and you know, it's good to have a fairy table somewhere on your yard, you know, where you um, like I, I have these chairs on there that don't have any seats in them because fairies don't really need seats, but they like a little scene where they can gather. And just because you may not be able to see fairies doesn't mean they're not there. Okay, so we're going to take these Lunaria that look, you know, pretty rough. <laughs> and we're going to trim the stems so we get them kind of to look like a little bouquet. And so to, you can actually break these with your hands, but I think it's a little better with the clippers. And you want to have a good clipper. This is a Velcro. These are like amazing. I've had them for years. And just like any good craftsperson, the tool is very important. So you want to have a really good tool and keep them sharp. And don't keep them outside where they would get rusted. And when you're not using them, close them up. Okay, so here's the magic of the Lunaria plant. So we're going to take one of these stems. And you want to take the leaves off. And you have to be very gentle because these are dried. And then what we're going to do... Oh my, look at that. We're going to just very gently rub these um, pods. These are seed pods. This one might be a little funky. And when you rub them, you get this look. And this is why this plant is called Lunaria. Because once you've taken all the little, this one's torn a little bit. So you want to take anything out, anything that's damaged off. And you can also use a scissors for some of the finer cutting. And voila, we have from something that looks like garbage to something that looks magical. And so I'm going to take, I'm going to do this to every one of these stems. I'm going to take the leaves off. And, and it's really fun to do this because you have to be very gentle and you learn to work with them as you play with them. And all the flower materials are like that. If you pay attention, they will show you, they will direct you how to handle them. And this one, very gently. And again, I'm going to take this little part off. And then I'm going to lay it down here. And you want to be very you know, careful with these because they do break as anything fragile. I'm going to be careful with. And you can save the seeds. I'm going to be saving these seeds and tossing them back over in that garden area. So next year I'll have twice as many. And they're kind of cool looking in the spring. They're a really nice green. They have beautiful purple, little purple flowers. But many people call these weeds. So a weed technically is anything growing where you don't want it to grow. But nature doesn't have weeds. <laughs> Everything in nature is beautiful and welcome in the environment that it grows. Okay. We're going to do a few more and then we're going to make a little bouquet that you can put in a vase, or I like to make a uh, door ornaments. Oh, this is gonna be a good one. So we have a lot on here. 
and you know it's kind of as you work with flowers most of the practices you'll you'll do in uh, processing and working with flowers it's going to be like a Zen activity you don't want to be doing anything else while you're working with the plants you want to give them your full attention and that helps your mind relax as you just connect with the beauty of nature okay don't be upset if things break it's fine it's all part of the process of working with plant material That's another nice piece and remember to take all the leaves off the dried leaves because they're they're not going to add anything to the decorative value of these beautiful lunaria. Okay, so I have enough right here to make like a little a little bouquet. And some people like to put these in a vase. If you do, uh, put them in a vase that is not clear. Because you you know, you don't really the stems aren't really that super attractive. You what you want is the focus on the, the linearia on the pods and so I'm going to take my raffia I have some nice red raffia I always have a big stash of raffia because you never know when you're going to want to like collect something and make a little bouquet I'm just making a little bow Ooh. and then I'm going to cut my stems Keep them kind of longish. You can always make things longer, but it's pretty much impossible. I mean, you could always make things shorter, but it's pretty impossible to make them longer <laughs> once you cut them. And there you go. You have a little Lunaria bouquet. And Lunaria is also a uh, plant that they call the money plant. Maybe because these look like coins, or maybe you just feel rich with the wonder of nature after you see them. And you also see the transformation from something that looks like garbage <laughs> to something that looks exquisite. Lunaria. Okay, here's what the seed pods look like from the Lunaria. Right, and you can see the little seeds in there. This is the first stage of seed dissemination. Okay, here is the collection of Lunaria seeds. This is what they look like. Tiny little sweet little things. And to, you just basically scatter them. You scatter them in your yard. You don't really have to dig or anything. Just spread them around and they will grow. Lunaria seeds. Thanks for joining me on the Flower Channel. Bring beauty, love, magic into your life with flowers.